Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my latest physical media update, all my pickups for the month of April. So I hope everybody is doing well. Appreciate y'all joining me today. So not a very big update. We got 42 pickups for the month of April. So looking at what we got in this update, we have one DC Marvel, which is a Marvel title. I would say we got the most horror, definitely some cool stuff to look at there. A couple A to Z, a decent little stack of still books, and then the rest is all boutique. We have some Scream Factory with a collector edition. We have... Nice big stack of Kino titles that I got in their March into April sale. We also have some Severin and some Arrow, which includes some stuff I picked up in Texas. But before we dive into the update, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you guys enjoy these monthly physical media updates, make sure you hit that big subscribe button right down below and hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this update here today, make sure you smash the like button. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get things started here with the DC Marvel category. Like I mentioned, I only have one, and it is a Marvel title. And that is one of the most recent installments in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Spider-Man No Way Home. Absolutely love this movie. Definitely one of the most epic theater experiences I've ever had with a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, if you don't count the Avenger movies. Total fan service. So many parts in this movie just had me grinning ear to ear. Of course, I've watched it a second time since owning it on 4K. Love it even more. Definitely would put this up in at least the top five for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, maybe even higher. But if you're a Spider-Man fan and you haven't seen this movie, you gotta watch it. Okay, getting into the A to Z, we only got three. First up here is a first time to Blu-ray in the U.S. from Paramount, Richard Dreyfus, Let It Ride. I picked up the imprint edition of this, which is pretty cool, but when I seen that we were getting a U.S. release, I wanted to go ahead and grab it, but definitely a cool little hidden gem for Richard Dreyfus fans. He basically goes to a horse track one day, and pretty much the whole movie is just him there betting on horses over and over and just keeps getting himself deeper and deeper into dead. And it's super funny, good cast. Jennifer Tilly is in this movie. So highly recommend checking this out if you guys haven't. Okay, next up here is an A24 film with Joaquin Phoenix, which is why I bought it. I love Joaquin Phoenix. A movie called Come On, Come On. Looks like a pretty good drama. And from what I can tell in the back, I think it's filmed in black and white, which is cool. A24, I think, has done that a few different times, but definitely looks cool. I don't have a lot of A24 films. I've thought about trying to collect them all, but that could take a while and a lot of money, especially to get all the slipcovers, but I'm happy with just kind of being more selective with the A24 titles, but yeah, this definitely looks good. And the last A to Z pickup is a 4K from Lionsgate, the latest film from Roland Emmerich, and that is Moonfall. I have fun with these disaster films that Roland Emmerich does. Not all of them are the greatest, but I still have a good time. Independence Day will always be one of my favorite movies and definitely his best in my opinion, but haven't heard the greatest things about this movie. But like I said, I'm a sucker for these Roland Emmerich disaster films. So definitely excited to check it out. Okay, we're going to get into the horror pickups now, starting with the Amrays. And the first one here is the movie VHS. Now, I've never seen any of these movies, and I've never even owned them. But recently, Shudder put out the fourth film in this series. And I picked that up because I pretty much collect all the Shudder titles, as you guys know. So I figured now, since I have the most recent one, I'll go back and get the others. And I found out that the only one that has a slipcover is part two. So, of course, we'll look at that one when we get to the slipcovers. But here's one, and here's part three, viral. So, I've heard mixed things about the VHS films. I'm definitely excited to check them out now that I own them all. 
So the next two here came from the April Horror Pack. First up is Nicolas Cage and Pay the Ghost. Never seen this movie. Nicolas Cage and a thriller. I don't know. I'm sure it's not going to be that good, but I didn't own it, so it's cool to have it. I found out that it actually does have a slipcover, which I found on eBay. So that's in the mail. I should have that here pretty soon. And then the Horror Pack exclusive, a movie called Death Cast. Definitely looks pretty cool. Okay, the next one up here is actually a Jim Carrey film that I've been trying to get for a while to add to the Jim Carrey collection. And for some reason, I think this movie went out of print right away when it got released or had a very limited run or something because every time I would try to buy it on eBay or Amazon, it was pretty expensive. It was like 50, 60 bucks. But I checked again in April on Amazon and it actually went down to $15. So I don't know... It didn't get re-released or anything, so I don't know why it went way back down. But anyways, a movie I really don't know a lot about, but I do know Jim Carrey's role is pretty small in this, but a movie called The Bad Batch. You get Jason Momoa, Keanu Reeves, Suki Waterhouse, and yeah, some kind of a thriller of some sort. I don't know, but... You know me, I am trying to get all the Jim Carrey films on Blu-ray, which I'm almost done. There's only a couple left that I got to get. And I think I have one other one in this update you guys will see in a little bit. But uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And the last Amory here before we get into the slipcovers is a new Welgo USA title, The Long Night. Definitely looks creepy. It reminds me of like a Wrong Turn remake premise. Like, this couple runs into this cult somewhere. But, yeah, it looked like it could be pretty cool. So, decided to pick it up. Okay, moving on to the Horus slipcovers. First up, we have Season 1 of Chucky. So happy we got a physical release of this from Universal. This, of course, was a sci-fi exclusive. I watched it on Amazon Prime and absolutely loved it. Cannot wait for the second season. Started out a bit slow for me, but definitely picked up and ended up being a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So, super happy to have this physical release. I also ordered the Zavi exclusive like box set good guy edition, they call it, with a whole bunch of cool extras. And then there's also a still book of this that I got off of Zavi. So, yeah, so happy to have this. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's definitely worth your time. If you're a fan of Chucky, you'll love it. Next up here now is, of course, VHS 2. Like I said, the only one that came with a slipcover from the original three. And speaking of which, here is the most recent one, the fourth one, VHS 94 from Shudder. Really cool looking slipcover on this one. This is all embossed, so definitely cool. And then as far as Shudder goes, we also have another title here called Vicious Fun. Definitely a cool slipcover in that as well. So, yeah. Always happy to pick up these Shutter titles. Next up here is a pickup from Code Red, a 1979 film called Screams of a Winter Night. Really cool looking cover on that. Don't really know what to expect from this movie, but uh, yeah, happy to add it to the Code Red collection. Sorry about the background noise, if you guys can hear that, but there's a couple kids in the neighborhood riding around on their little mini dirt bikes, so I apologize. But anyways, moving on. Next up here, we have the most recent Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, which is called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, this, of course, is the Netflix exclusive title that I came across on eBay from a seller that I watch on YouTube, actually. And he actually makes custom slipcovers, and then the movie itself, he gets from somebody that he knows that makes, like, custom Blu-rays, so... He's selling these on eBay. I decided to grab it so I have every single Texas Chainsaw Massacre on physical media because you never know with Netflix and, and these online exclusive releases if we'll ever get anything on physical media. Wasn't that much, probably a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but now I have a physical copy of this. So as far as the movie goes, it was pretty fun. Not one of the greatest Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, but uh, I'm just happy to have it in my collection, so I have them all, so... And the last horror pickup is a 4K, and that is the most recent Scream film. I had a good time with this movie. Craig and I hyped this movie up so much to ourselves over the past year before it came out that 
I went into this movie with super, super high expectations. I actually almost went to Philly to actually watch it with Craig. That's how excited we were. And in the end, it didn't work out. But after seeing it a couple more times now at home, it's good. I probably put it somewhere in the middle of my ranking for the Scream franchise. But yeah, just happy to see another Scream movie. And now we have a sixth one coming out next year. So I've been reading a lot of stuff on it. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, moving on to the boutique labels. We're going to go ahead and kick it off with Kino Lorber. Now, the first stack I'm going to show you is everything I got in the March to April sale. First up, we have Finders Keepers, another Jim Carrey title I've been looking forward to add to the collection. Beware the Blob. This, of course, is the sequel to the original. Still got to get the original, but I think it's only on Criterion. So, a Dolph Lundgren film called The Minion. A film with Bill Pullman I've been wanting to get for a while. Finally grabbed it. Lost Highway. Elizabeth Shue in a movie called Link. And the last two from that order have slipcovers. We have Donald Sutherland and the Puppet Masters. And then a more recent release from Kino, The Final Option. And the last two pickups now are actually new releases from Kino that came out in April. We have New Year's Evil. Really happy to finally have this one, but I actually have heard that it's not that good. I think this originally got released by Scream Factory, maybe, or one of the other boutique labels, but I'm just happy to finally have this one. And then a crazy-looking movie called Tentacles. And this one came out in 1977. New Year's Evil was 1980. Okay, moving on to the Severn pickups. I got three of them here, and I got them all at Texas Frightmare. They had a sale that if you get three of them, you get a deal. So the first one up here is a movie called Primitives. And then we have Burial Ground. And then the last one is a new 4K from Severn called Faceless. I don't think that this is out yet. They were selling it exclusively at Texas Frightmare, but I still don't think it has come out yet. I could be wrong on that, but... If it hasn't, it's definitely coming soon. So really happy I was able to pick this up early. So that takes us to Arrow. I got four Arrow pickups, three of which I got in Texas, and then the other one was new for April. First up, we'll take a look at the ones I got at Texas Frightmare. And again, they had a deal that if you bought three, you got a discount. So first up, we have The Deeper You Dig. Don't really know anything about this one, but looked pretty decent. This one I wanted to get for a while. I have the other John Hughes Arrow release for Weird Science and never did pick this one up and finally was able to get it with a slipcover now and that is 16 Candles. I hope they do more John Hughes. Definitely some cool releases from Arrow. And then we have Death Screams. I think this one is fairly new. I believe so. And then the last one here... Finally, on 4K, we have a beautiful box set edition for RoboCop. Yeah, so happy to finally have this movie on 4K. Definitely one of my favorite 80s action films, and this is a beautiful set. Again, I open this up and look at this in full detail in my unboxing video. So, like usual, all the unboxing videos will be down in the description box. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and end the boutique labels with the Scream Factory. But before we do so, I actually do have one Shout Factory I forgot to mention. And I picked this up directly from their website. This was one of their exclusive titles that they release every once in a while where you can only get them on their website. They had three new titles. The other two I wasn't really interested in. But when I seen them releasing this, I had to pick it up. And that is the old school Doctor Strange film. Never been on Blu-ray before. I've been meaning to pick this up for the longest time for the collection because there is a DVD, and I'm glad I waited because now I got a Blu-ray release of it. Now, this came out in 1978. Don't know how good this movie is, but it's the first Doctor Strange movie that was ever released that a lot of people don't even really know about. Now, I have a dilemma, the same dilemma that I have with the... Uh, 1990 Captain America movie or whatever year in the 90s that came out and then the Swamp Thing films is that they're boutique labels so 
I have to decide, do I keep it with DC Marvel or do I put it with the boutique labels that it belongs to? And the Captain America film was released by Shout Factory. The Swamp Thing film was released by Scream Factory. And then Swamp Thing 2 was released by MVD. So right now I have them with the boutique labels. So I'll probably do that with this one. But kind of sucks because I like to keep all the DC Marvel titles together. So just a stupid dilemma that us collectors run into. But yeah, really cool to see this on Blu-ray. Had to pick it up. Okay, now looking at the Scream Factory, first one up is an Amory, and this actually came with the April Horror Pack. I think this is the second month in a row we got a Scream Factory title, and I think if I read right, we're getting another Scream Factory title in the May Horror Pack, so we'll see if that happens, but really cool that Horror Pack is adding the Scream Factory titles, but a movie called Full Moon High. I remember seeing this and wanting to pick it up for the Scream Factory collection, and now I have it. This came out in 1981. Next up is a newer Scream Factory release called The Ice Demon. Really cool looking cover on that. Don't know much about it, but it looks pretty cool. And then the last one is a Blu-ray Collector's Edition for Night Creatures. I think this is a Hammer title. It's old school, 1962. And now recently we got Cursed on Blu-ray, Collector Edition from Scream Factory. And now going forward, it seems like all they have announced are just a bunch of uh, 4K re-release Collector Edition. So, which is cool, but just kind of sucks having to rebuy titles. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end with the Steelbooks. First up is a 4K Steelbook from Sony for the movie Heavy Metal. Really cool looking Steelbook. There's the spine. No inside art, but you guys will notice that you also get a Blu-ray for Heavy Metal 2000 in here. Don't know why they didn't make that one a 4K, but either way, cool to get the first one on 4K. Next up from Lionsgate, we actually did get a still book for the movie Moonfall. So it looked kind of cool. I decided to pick it up. Of course, being Lionsgate, we get the cool clear slipcover. Go ahead and take that off. And there's the front. Back. And the inside. Next, we have another Lionsgate still book. And I got to say, this is definitely one of my favorites from Lionsgate, if not my favorite. And that is the Cabin in the Woods. This is so cool looking, you guys. So we'll go ahead and take the clear slipcover off and check this out. The art underneath. And there's the back spine and then the inside i really think the inside would have looked so cool if it would have been like the the shot from far away showing all the different like boxes or elevators or whatever at the end of the movie with all the different monsters and everything that would have been an awesome inside shot but still cool looking Next year, we have a still book for the new Scream film. Pretty cool looking. I think the front could have been a little bit better, but definitely like the shot on the back here. And then the inside is awesome. Really, really happy that they went with that. All the cast with the ghost face mask. Okay, the last still book here and the last title in my April physical media update is definitely a good one. And that is Spider-Man No Way Home. I am so lucky to have this still book thanks to my buddy Tony over at Basement Blues. I messed up and didn't pre-order this one right away when it went up for sale. Stupid me, I should have known a title like this would sell out really fast. But I kept checking on probably a daily basis. It never showed up to pre-order again. Always would show coming soon. And then on the release day, I went back into BestBuy.com hoping it would pop up for like an in-store pickup and it immediately went to sold out. So really, really bummed out. And I knew I probably would end up having to pay a ton for this on eBay or something because I had to have it. But again, my buddy Tony over at Basement Blues had an extra copy and he sold it to me for the price that it was going for at BestBuy.com. So I've already thanked him a ton, but cannot thank him enough. Tony, you're awesome. Wouldn't have had this in my collection without you. So beautiful still book. The art on this is just amazing. But there's the front. There's the back spine. 
and not really much going on the inside here. I thought this could be better, but so yeah, now going forward when I know it's going to be a big release, DC, Marvel, whatever, I'm going to order them on the day they go up for sale. All right, that'll do it for my April physical media update, all 42 pickups. Lots of really cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my pickups. What did you guys get in the month of April? And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.